morning, Michael. My name is Pat Corser. I'm the country manager for MWH in Canada. I'm a geotechnical engineer by training. I've got about 34 years of experience in servicing the mining industry in North America, Latin America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. Why is water management so critical to a mine's operations? You know, I've had a chance to work in a variety of environmental settings, climate settings, uh, topographic settings, and uh, geochemical settings. And my experience at all those sites is that water management is extremely important to make a site work. I think it's really two points that are, are critical. One is that there's a, a comprehensive water management plan that can be uh, communicated to the stakeholders, to uh, relevant community members, <coughs> to ensure that they have the, uh, or the mine has its social license to operate, and also that the mine itself knows how to operate the mine to make sure it has enough water for um, normal operating conditions and extreme operating conditions. What is an extreme environment for water management? You know, there's a whole range of extreme conditions, but the two obvious ones would be a, a very wet site or a very dry site. At a wet site, you're interested in how much water you've got to get rid of, how, how you control and divert water, how you discharge water, and whether it meets environmental standards. At a dry site, it's whether you can find enough water to continue your operation during, uh, during the life of the mine. What are, in an extreme environment, uh, what are the practices that would tie water management together? What are the themes that would tie operations in those environments together? Uh, first, let me clarify, there are a couple of other extreme environments that I think are important to, to recognize. And, and that would be very cold climates. It could be very, um, very uh, stringent regulatory situations. That could be viewed as an extreme climate or an extreme situation. And then there could be situations where the water quality is, uh, is very impacted by a, a reactive mine waste. So what's the common theme between all those conditions? I really think it's water management, a comprehensive water management plan. That'll address not only the specific uh, facilities, whether it's a tailing facility, uh, a, a pit, a waste rock pile, or whether it's the site with all those facilities tied together, or whether it's at a regional basin affecting the surrounding community. It's also important that that water management plan address different time frames, initial uh, during construction, during operations, and during closure, and even post-closure. So I think it's important that it encompasses both those conditions, those sites, as well as those time frames. <clears throat> it's even important to consider extreme events that could occur within those time frames. Uh, extreme rainfalls, extreme shortages of rain, extreme weather conditions, uh, all those are important uh, to developing a comprehensive water management plan. And I think that's what ties together all those extreme sites. You mentioned it. What are some of the regulatory challenges that uh, miners are now facing? Well, I think it's both uh, uh, the, the fact that there's a limited amount of water on the planet and there's an increase in population growth in the planet. Uh, it's increasing uh, larger cities, more congested cities, uh, additional industrial development in rural areas for agriculture to support feeding the increased population, and that all requires water. <clears throat> and there's a limited uh, resource available, so everybody is much more concerned about how to use and manage that water productively. Uh, I think it's been the source of a lot of uh, the social protests we've seen around mining sites have been focused on water. And I think if you look at a recent article I read from Ernst & Young that interviewed a number of CEOs in the mining industry, that they felt that access to water and energy was one of the key risks that they have in the mining industry. What do you see as some of the trends uh, coming up in the field of water management? You know, I think there's been a, a lot of work <clears throat> that's been done around uh, development of what the water management plan that I talked about, and that's associated with water balances uh, even contem uh, contaminant balances within the water balance. Uh, I think that's important to develop that for the scale and the time frame that I mentioned. Maybe more importantly, it's communicating that to stakeholders and, and regulators and the communities. Because many times they'll ask us for things that are impossible. And we need to communicate to them what is possible, what we can do, working together uh, to manage water. I think the industry has also developed some new innovative technologies for treating water. Uh, with an increased uh, regulatory scrutiny on discharge standards 
treatment is very important, as well as the recycling of impacted water and use of that within a mining operation. There's a conference coming up in April. Um, could you uh, talk about uh, the conference and why somebody should attend? Sure. The name is Mine Water Solutions in, in Extreme Environments. And I think you really need to focus on that title, Mine Water Solutions. We're really looking for people to come together from around the globe, from different uh, environmental uh, climatic conditions, and talk about solutions that have worked. I think it's really important for the industry to hear what other people have done, what their successes have been, and maybe what's not worked. So we as a community, as a uh, professional community, can learn from our colleagues in other parts of the world. Thank you for your time. Thank you.